Question 19. An excess of calcium carbonate is added to dilute hydrochloric acid X. The carbon dioxide gas given off is collected and its volume recorded at regular time intervals. Line X on the graph shows the results obtained. The experiment is repeated using dilute hydrochloric acid Y. Line Y on the graph shows the results obtained. The question is, which statement about the two hydrochloric acid samples X and Y is correct? So, according to the examiner reports, the majority of answers of students, it was A. But actually, A is wrong. So, let's discuss and investigate depthly why the correct answer is the correct answer, and also why A is not the correct answer. So, calcium carbonate, which is an excess, reacted with dilated hydrochloric acid X, and once again, Calcium carbonate, which is excess, reacts once again with dilute hydrochloric acid Y. And regarding it to the graph, they produce the same volume of carbon dioxide gas because if we extend the line to the Y axis, so this is the same volume of carbon dioxide gas. It means both of them produce same number of moles of carbon dioxide gas. It means also number of moles of both acids, acid X and acid Y, they should have the same number of moles. But Y is more steeper than X. So it means Y is more concentrated than X. So we could say here this is NX, number of moles of X should equal number of moles of Y. But concentration of Y because it's steeper, so it should be bigger than concentration of X, okay? And as you know the rule, so C equals N over V, or in other words, N equals CV. So we can substitute here N up, so NX equals NY. So it means CX, VX should equal CY, VY. And because CY is greater than CX, so CY is greater than CX because it's steeper regarding it with the curve. So steeper means it's more concentrated. So it means VX should be more than VY. So it means V for acid X should be greater than V for acid Y. Because once again, if we multiply volume with concentration, finally they reduce number of moles and it should be the same. So we have concluded that Vx or volume of acid X should be greater than volume of acid Y. Now let's check the answers. So the first one, they had the same volume. So According to our investigation, they don't have the same volume, okay, because Y is steeper, so it's not the same volume. Letter P, they had the same concentration. Actually, they can't be have the same concentration because Y is steeper, so it's more concentrated. So letter C, X had a higher concentration. Actually, no, regarding to this, look at this, C, Y, so Y actually had a higher concentration, not X. The last one, D, Y had a higher concentration. Yes, correct, because it's steeper, but X had a larger volume. Yes, this is correct, actually. So the correct answer regarding it also, the mark scheme should be D. So the basic idea, actually, guys, is number of moles. So I recommend everyone to remember all the time this relation in case of N. 1, for example, equals N2, number of moles are the same. This is, you could, you could use also this in case of acid against alkali or against base, not only between two acids. And then you could say C1, V1 equals C2, V2. Okay. Hopefully it was clear. Thank you so much, guys. See you.